hello traders hope you are all doing great and this market is full of surprises right so when yesterday when our markets sorry not our markets when the global markets were going down our market was going on the higher side and today when the global markets were going high and uh, our market is going down and look at the way this market is uh, making movements yesterday all the way it went and today all the way it come down it didn't come down actually nifty was just 200 points or maybe 150 points away from yesterday's low and bank nifty was very very strong it was not letting uh, bank nifty actually it was not coming down so that was the main reason why this uh, nifty was not falling if it had not been bank nifty we might for we might have fallen i really don't know there are many conspiracies and uh, there are may, uh, so many debate if you ask a retailer like me people will say we will keep on abusing fias and dias these people are manipulating the market operating the market but what others are saying is that fias are feeling this retailers are uh, manipulating the market abusing and uh, so on and so forth so it is no more fight between fias and dias so retailers are also becoming very very powerful nowadays especially in india and say and they say india in india retail participant is really really good and it is going on the higher side no i don't want to get into so much of technicals but this is the general perception of uh, what i know or what i read from these are the details from uh, things i've read so this is how the markets are be uh, behaving right now what is the next thing <laughs> i still believe market will go down right because i see negative divergence in the chart which i'm going to show you now you may ask me you have been telling this for the last 10 days nothing is happening right you are right i'm absolutely there is no denial at all somehow i don't know i feel or my instinct says this market is uh, moving unwanted or making moves upward moves unwantedly right so next week that is next wednesday which is 21st of september jerome powell will come out and um, we don't know whether federal reserve us federal reserve is going to be hawkish or dovish that we will see later we have some more time but we will see what the chart says and you will be as i told you there are so many surprises in the market and you will see one more surprise is that there is a negative di divergence so this is a bank nifty chart and you can see the difference divergence between the price action spot price and you can see the divergence in rsi also right now if you can remember two or three days back i posted a video that uh, with a thumbnail that there is negative divergence in the market and markets are likely to come down so if you see here now price action is going up nifty higher high is uh, that is 19th high is around 39746 the next high is 41600 levels at the same time this is the high and this is the higher high they say and if at the same time if you see the rsi now on 19, 18th it was around 86 now today in spite of bank nifty being on the higher side it is on higher high still rsi is at 65.98 so this is bank nifty and when it comes to nifty if you see here on uh, around 19th of uh, august uh, nifty was around somewhere 17900 levels still it is uh, around uh, i think today's close is somewhere around 17800 levels but look at the rsi on 19th of august it was around 76 and now it is around 59 so this is a clear cut divergence and when you have to enter or when you have to short the market is when maybe around 17500 levels and when it comes to bank nifty maybe you have to short after this one this previous higher high that is around 39700 is taken you might have to short the market right that's why i told i am still not uh, happy with the way this people or way the market is moving i don't know what is the reason i am still bearish and i i still hold some of my uh, short position that is call option 
another one week i have to manage or maybe till monday i have to manage after that theta dk will kick in and we might uh, end up in good profit right now if it goes up what we can do we have to manage or we have to break our head we have to jump uh, do circus all kind of things we have to do right so let's see how things pan out i don't uh, uh see anything like i thought today what i was thinking is market may go on the higher side bank nifty was super bullish yesterday it was in making it was making one way move maybe today also it will go but uh, to my surprise it started coming down right i thought whole the whole profit which was the whole run which made uh, which bank nifty made yesterday would be gone today but uh, it was good it was uh, able to hold i think around uh, 40000 uh, how much 700 i think yeah around 40700 levels so that is one good thing to happen right so it was able to hold above 41300 levels so that is a good thing bank nifty is a strong and uh, sorry it was able to hold us 41000 levels bank nifty is strong uh, and uh, our big brothers or our neighbors uh, or our uh, co traders fias have sold for around 1270 crores and dais have sold for around 928 crores and uh, uh, as i told you this uh, retail participants are very very high in india and it is uh, whether we like it or not it is about retailers all we have to do is join a make a forum of uh, retailers and uh, maybe we will have to dictate how the market moves now also retailers as per fias and dais as per some articles which i read now retailers are dictating the market but if they form a forum and do it in a coordinated way maybe we will we can dictate the direction of uh, the market right retailers are really strong nowadays if they form a group or if they form a forum and uh, like what fis and dais are doing so if you can remember few days back or few months back or even uh, one week back when fis wants to sell no what they do is <clears throat> either first half of trading session maybe before 10:30 they will start selling so coordinated selling all fis will sell they will bring the market down then dais will jump coordinated buying I, all the dais will buy and take the market on the higher side in between them we are stuck and there are weak retailers or all uh, are uh, also in the market who find it very hard to manage this kind of market right so we have to form a forum like that so that we can also dictate the direction of the market right anyway i think uh, it's okay we'll find a way or we'll find a solution in coming days and i hope you had a very very good experience and i am sure you would have made good money this was okay kind of okay not so volatile uh, expiry in fact india wix also dropped today significantly uh, at the start of the day it was india wix was up by uh, maybe 3 or 4% uh, at the end of uh, today's uh, trading session maybe it came to 0.58 or 0.78% so that's a good thing to happen and uh, i feel going forward if you ask me as always umar is always bearish going forward we may see a consolidation on ne uh, with negative bias which means markets may likely come down right and as i told you i have been telling this for a very long time maybe 10 or 15 trading session and i still hold some short positions also let us see how things pan out see you all tomorrow take care bye